Get a great music player. Linux has many music players including MRock, Rhythmbox, Banshee, etc., and some of them are great. Check out MRock for example see the screenshot. It manages and plays your music perfectly, learns which tunes you prefer, automatically fetches their title and lyrics on the internet, and even gets the CD covers for you. Keep an eye on the weather. Are you tired of having a thermometer outside your window and go check it before getting out? Just take a look at your Linux screen and keep an eye on the weather of course. Linux doesn't force you to do anything, so you can place this anywhere you want on your screen, or just not have it at all after all, isn't it nicer to have a look through your window? You can select the place where you live or anywhere else, in a complete list of locations. Linux is definitely a way to go because it is better but these are few cases where you should stick to Windows. Proprietary Software Until recently, many software publishers considered the software market for Linux to be too small to bother releasing software for it. Though this is beginning to change, most proprietary software does not run within Linux. That being said, there are several open source programs that can replace these essential, proprietary ones. Games. Most games are compatible with Windows, and nothing else. Some of them have Mac versions, and some of them have Linux versions, but most of them just run on Windows. So if you spend a lot of time playing recent games, you should stick to Windows. But you can still install Linux, keep Windows, and use both of them, depending on your needs. Books Printing Industry. Linux software still has very experimental CMYK features. This is getting better, but it's not really satisfying for professional use yet. While most books and magazines about free software switched to Linux a long time ago, if you work in the printing industry and use a lot of CMYK colors, with subtle images, special printing effects, etc., you probably should stick to Windows for now. But you can still install Linux, keep Windows, and use both of them, depending on your needs. Hardware most pieces of hardware work just fine with Linux, however, very recent hardware a few months old are sometimes not yet supported. Like software vendors, many hardware vendors still consider the Linux market as a very small one and don't bother to provide Linux drivers for their hardware. The Linux developers work on that and do a terrific work to let every piece of hardware work like a charm, but this takes a little time. The best and most straightforward way to see whether your hardware is well supported is to run Linux from a live CD. Okay, I want Linux on my PC. What should I do now? You have following options. Try a live CD. You can try Linux for real without even needing to touch your hard disk, without needing to do anything to your existing Windows. Installed Linux. Okay, so you've decided to switch to Linux. You won't regret it. If you want to keep Windows on your computer which I recommend, in case you change your mind, or in case you find stuff you can only do with Windows, Windows is gonna need to share the disk with Linux. Then, each time your computer starts, it will let you choose between Windows and Linux. You should first back up all your data. This is extremely important. We never know what may go wrong. No, really, I'm not kidding. Pack up your data, get blank CDS, blank DVDs, another hard disk, whatever, but back up your work. Then you should defragment your hard disk. Right now, your data is scattered all around Windows doesn't manage this very well, Linux does much better. After defragmenting this can take a few hours depending on the size of your disk, all the data will have been gathered at the beginning of your hard drive. Think of it as a long linear tape, with a beginning and an end. If your data is gathered there, Linux won't have any problem splitting virtually, of course, your hard disk in two, and install itself on the second part. Okay, you're all set, now all you need to do is choose which Linux distribution you want. Linux comes in a lot of different flavors, built by different organizations or companies, with different sets of software, different look ampersand feel, etc. They are all Linux, but with different interpretations. This is not an obvious choice, and I can't really help you there actually. Lots of people like to argue about their distribution being the best. However, here are the four most popular distributions, ranked by Districhcom. 
When you have chosen a distribution, download the CD image. Then, burn it onto a blank CD or onto a USB drive. Now insert the CD or USB drive, and reboot. Your PC should use the CD to boot if it doesn't, your BIOS configuration is faulty. After that, just follow the instructions on the screen they're pretty simple and straightforward most of the time have nice time with Linux.